The incumbents have come out on top as you decide 2013. There were two statewide races on the ballot in Wisconsin yesterday. In the race for state Supreme Court, incumbent Justice Pat Rogensack defeated challenger Ed Fallone, a Marquette University law professor. The margin of victory was about 14 percent. Rogensack will serve another 10-year term. Fox 11's Laura Smith has balanced coverage. She wasn't betting on it, but Justice Pat Rogensack pulled off a win in the state Supreme Court race, much to the delight of her supporters. I've had tremendous support, and there's absolutely no way that a statewide campaign can come together without the kind of support that I've had from everyone in every county in Wisconsin. Rogensack attributed her win to her experience as a judge for almost 17 years. My message, which was pretty simple, that if you want to do the work of a judge, it's nice to have done the work yourself before you decide whether someone else has been doing it correctly. The win means another 10-year term for Justice Rogensack, and she says she has plans to take the court in a new direction moving forward. And sometimes it takes us a long time to get our opinions out the door, and we need to focus more outward. Um, I want the court to focus also on how they handle the monies uh, that the court is entrusted with handling for the entire judicial branch of government. Opponent Ted Fallone said in his concession speech it wasn't an easy race, but he was satisfied with how it went. I want to congratulate Justice Rogensack on her election to a second term. It was a hard-fought campaign. I think it was a campaign we can both be proud of. In Madison, Laura Smith, Fox 11 News.